Hi, thanks for watching this Diagnostic World video. If you are watching this video, the chances are you will have the check engine warning light showing in your dashboard as shown here. Check engine light can be on your vehicle for uh, a massive amount of reasons. There are literally thousands of reasons why the check engine light could be on. Um, of course, there won't be a thousand faults with the car. What you need to do in your vehicle is find that simple one fault, or maybe there's two or three faults, um, which are actually putting the engine light on on your vehicle. Uh, now to do that, well, first of all, what I'd say first of all is, um, it's obviously gonna be a fault within the engine module. So, the main places that the faults probably will occur, um, something like an injector coil, um, ignition coil, O2 sensor, your car will have a few O2 uh, lambda sensors or oxygen sensors as they're also known, um, camshaft sensor, crankshaft sensor, mass airflow meter, map sensor, uh, you could have an EGR valve problem, um, all of these, a lot of them relating to airflow, um, a lot of them relating to uh, the, the air fuel mixture, um, the rotation of internal parts within the engine, um, or it could just be a faulty sensor. Uh, the chances are it will probably be a faulty sensor, um, although don't rule out any other parts um, sort of breaking as well. Um, now, to diagnose specifically, what you will need is a scanner, just like the one right here. Um, if I show you, um, it has port in your vehicle where this particular plug goes right into and then you will see the screen here which has buttons it will have a screen uh, which is lit up an LCD screen which gives you information it will give you a fault code a specific fault code for example P1010 or P0101 P0360 uh, and it will generally give you a, a brief fault description underneath um, so it might say something like uh, ignition coil misfire cylinder 3, something like that. Which would indicate that the ignition coil in cylinder 3 is faulty. Um, and of course, replacing that would then cure the problem. Um, however, once you've generally got your car fixed, 90% of cars will still need a diagnostic scan to actually go in and reset the fault code. Um, so that's what you'll need to do here. Now, uh, <coughs> excuse me, these diagnostic tools they are available just by clicking the link directly below this video. You can visit the website, which is www.diagnostic-world.com. Um, they are invaluable because uh, they will save you a lot of time and money. Um, if you are quite a busy person and you don't have time to keep taking your car to the garage, you would actually be surprised about how easy it is to plug this into your own diagnostic port and find the fault yourself. Uh, and then you can go to places like Euro Car Parts, uh, Dominator Auto Diagnostics, which have a lot of uh, car parts and replacement sensors, MAF sensors, O2 sensors, camshaft, crankshaft, U <coughs> O2, sorry, ABS sensors as well, but that's, that's another video. Um, if you have received a fault code on your fault code reader and you're not exactly sure what it means, the simple thing to do is just literally put that fault code into your Google search engine. Uh, you will be surprised about how many other people have also had this fault. They will all display their problems, their symptoms, how they fixed it. Um, any fault code you can find hundreds and hundreds of pages. Not all of it's correct, so uh, don't believe everything you read, um, but the general consensus will sort of send you in the right direction. Um, so that's just a really short guide on um, sort of how to diagnose your check engine light. I appreciate that a lot of you will probably already know this information. A lot of you will already have a diagnostic scan tool uh, code reader. But on the other hand, I'm fairly certain there will be a few million people who don't know how to um, deal with the check engine warning light. And I'm maybe a little bit apprehensive about taking it to the garage because um, maybe you're sick of being ripped off or you simply can't afford it. In the long run, this is the answer to your problems. Um, so I'll leave that website with you one more time. If you want to see, you can click the link directly below this video. Uh, you can visit the website directly, which is www.diagnostic-world.com. And we have scan tools for every single car out there. Um, so no matter what you've got, click on the website, you'll find something specifically for your vehicle. Thanks for watching.